Hello everyone, it's Kevin. Today it's episode 21 of Print and Paint. I'm on my mini factory. The model is Muriel, the Druid of the Plane. It's from Gloomy Kid and it's a really nice fantasy slash D&D kind of model, I think. Really simple but kind of cool, so let's print and let's paint it. Let's go. Okay, so this model was pre-supported already and I think it was uh, the nice support but I decided to upscale the model a tiny bit, I think and to redo the support obviously and I thought I could do better than the pre-supported version so I just went ahead and did the whole thing again and it was not really hard here at the start I have a couple of support to make sure everything is fine but and the, the bird, the arm and the bird was a bit tricky but the rest was pretty straightforward This part was a bit tough. And here I have it. I'm finished with the print. Everything came out pretty nicely. Just a bit of cleanup like usual. I've primed in black, did some zenithal highlight already. It's really tiny. I was expecting a bit bigger. I kind of forget the scale in G2 box, but that's fine. It's really going to be really cool to try on this really small mini as well. And yeah, let's paint and let's have fun. Okay, so I've primed my model. I highlighted in white. I glued the model to the base already. As you can see, it's really easy to handle and easy to paint. So right now I'm applying my base coat. I got the skin. I'm going for a pale skin and the brownish, kind of leatherish uh, for the clothes, the cloak. Here on top of the scepter there is this uh, crystal, so I'm going with some kind of turquoise for it. And the air are done in orange. So for the, the shadow on the skin what I decide is to take the color of the skin and to mix it with the, the brown from the clothes. And trying to blend the model together in terms of color, trying to have some harmony and everything. So one of the first layering and glazing that I've done was this mix of the two. And later on I went with brighter color for the, the highlight and some darker shadows as well. Here I'm still doing some highlight, brightening the skin. Time to do the eyes. It's a really tiny mini, but there was some nice definition on the eyes. So I just apply some white to have the basic shape of it. And here with some blue, I'm trying to apply a small circle. I'm going steady, I'm trying to not mess up. And then right after, I just take some black and in the middle of this circle I try to apply a really small dot. And when you're doing the second eyes, that's when you know if you failed or not. That's what's gonna give the look of the, the, the mini, it's gonna see where she's looking at and you're gonna see if you mess up or not. And then after I decide to apply some brown wash on the whole thing, the boots here and the cloak. And the reason was because the, the color was a bit too bright for me and it was a good way to find some recess and get some base for the, the darker part of it. I've applied the wash on the hair as well, try to get some different color. Uh, now when it's dry, it's really better for me. I can start layering some, some highlight on the cloak. Here on the side and the back, I've tried to like push the, the, the folding of the clothes. It was a bit messy, like sometimes the wash goes where you don't want it to go. So, And even the mini sometimes didn't have all the details on it. So you try to just make up your own. Here I'm going brighter and brighter. The base color was really dark already, so I just had to go brighter. And here behind, I'm just trying to make up the fold get a better look for the mini. Now I'm highlighting the air as well. So after the wash there was some, some nice tint already. 
but I went back with normal orange and brighter orange for even more highlight. Here the fur I apply some bone color already. So there is around the boots and the, the bottom of the, the skirt kind of here. And after that I apply the same wash as the clothes. It's good to keep the like before the harmony of the color and the fur are a bit like a messy pattern so applying a wash is really helpful. And after that I'm going on the belt and the small pocket here on the side. And I'm using the first same color, the laser color that I used before. And this time I'm just applying some highlight on the edge, edge highlighting the whole thing and that's it. And a tiny bit of metal paint on some clips. On the arm here there is this raven or crow, I'm not sure what's the difference but I decided to go with black and highlight in blue over. There is not a lot of detail, like the wings have some feathers but everything else is kind of flat. So I went around with some bluish color, then I brightened a bit my blue and tried to give some definition on the bird here and up a tiny dot for the eyes and the mouse. I've base coated with grey and then I took some white and with a lot of uh, brush stroke I tried to mimic the fur. And the result was fine, I tried to follow the shape of the mouth, trying to follow the, the muscles and the legs. And it was fine, I'm sure if you go even deeper and try to use more color, for example grey, white and blackish, you can have a nice fur looking for, for animals. Here there was two straps, one on the arm, one on the legs. I choose green. And for the scepters here, so the crystal, I try to, to add some shadows and some highlight. It's a bit hard to make it pop because not a lot of it is visible. Here on the front, that's the most you can see of it. Everything else is hidden between the, the wood, so I did my best. And for the finish, instead of going brown, I blackened the wood, dry brush a lot of white and bone, and wanted to have the birch kind of look wood for, for this. And it's really nice to just offset the color a bit. A tiny bit of OSL for the, the color of the crystal, and then the base. Just some tuft, some grass, uh, trying to keep the natural look of the, the mini and going really simple, but Okay, so I'm finally done with the drill memorial. I'm really happy with the painting process. Everything was really smooth and really clean. Uh, technically, I can always improve, that's always the, the trick, but I had my ideas, like the colors, I had them in mind when I saw the model. I'm like, okay, I know where I'm gonna go, and everything went really like smoothly, so really nice for me. The result is nice, I'm happy with it. And that's a cool mini, I really enjoyed it. And if you like the video, please tell me a comment, tell me what you think about it, subscribe and leave a like, and see you next week for another episode.